All right, no time for mumbo jumbo here. No mumbo jumbo on this Foodie Friday as we are introducing you to a Portland food cart serving up some big Southern comfort. Mumbo Gumbo has <laughs> two cart locations, plus a new restaurant called Grit and Gravy serving up Southern-inspired brunch. Give me all of it, please. Sounds, <laughs> yeah. So, so good. Joining us live to tell us how he's helping spice up the Portland food scene is owner Brandon Stevens. Good morning, Brandon. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. How are you today? We're doing good. Excited to dig into some Southern comfort food here. So tell us well, a little. Yeah, I know you've got it. So <laughs> tell us about this this concept of, of bringing Southern flavors to Portland. Tell us about Mumbo Gumbo. Well, Mumbo Gumbo started off um, kind of as a just a hobby. My my dad had started running it at his restaurant outside of a gumbo, and it's one of my favorite dishes. And I just think it was underserved. Um, when you do find it, it's usually pretty expensive, and it's rarely on a regular menu um, outside of the South or Louisiana. It's um, generally just done as a special. And I think it's a dish that is so versatile um, as far as what proteins you can put in it. We have a vegan version as well. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, it fits any diet. It fits um, any mood, any day. Yeah. And, and I, I think people just wanted that and come to find out they did. I mean, I have not stumbled upon a lot of Southern food, especially a gumbo no. here in Portland. Yeah, outside of biscuits and gravy, it's it's tough to it's tough to come by here. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. It, uh, but since since I've opened up, I've noticed more places starting to serve gumbo. So hopefully it becomes a trend. You are uh, a trendsetter. <laughs> I try. <laughs> we um, just uh, recently opened up a breakfast concept as well with a focus on Southern breakfast, which is called Grits and Gravy. Um, we do mumbo, we do, we do gumbo, we don't do gumbo, we do shrimp and grits, chicken fried pork chops, wings and waffles. I mean, you name it, we got it. Ooh, those all sound so good. I'm like, my mouth is watering looking at these pictures. The gluttony I can already feel from mm. not even eating it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm sure it's not just gumbo you're serving. What are, what are the must try dishes? What are like your favorite things that you serve to eat yourself? The Uptown Shrimp and Grits is a fan favorite and one of my favorites. It's um, my personal take on shrimp and grits. It's not very traditional. Um, lean heavily on the French influence with a heavy cream white wine reduction on Dewey sausage and shrimp topped with Gruyere cheese. Um, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, we get rave reviews on that dish. And also another one is my way of paying tribute or homage to Nipsey Hussle. I have a sandwich called the Nipsey and um, it's spectacular. It's a cold poached shrimp tossed in Cajun remoulade on a grilled garlic butter brioche roll topped with pickled red cabbage. It is, I, I, it's, a lot of people are like, hey, that's not Southern. Hey, it's not technically traditional Southern, but it's my take on it and it's a great sandwich and oh, people love it. It sounds fantastic. I mean, and that's one of the things with Portland, you know, it, it's just, we're, we're a city known for really embracing fusion and, mm -hmm. and bringing all kinds of different flavors in. So like, yeah, go wild. Now, are, are you from Louisiana? No, born and raised Sacramento, California. My oh, no grandfather is from the South and they've, um, my family owns the two oldest black owned restaurants in Sacramento, California, named Stagecoach Restaurant. And my grits and gravy concept is basically just a total ripoff of my family's <laughs> joint. <laughs> um, and we just brought it up here to Portland. I just changed the name to grits and gravy to give it a little bit more of a uh, Southern flair as opposed to being locked into a country Western type. Thing. Well, hey, your family's doing something right because this is a, uh, it's fantastic food. And I think Portland was ready for, for a little more Southern Ooh, flair. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I really do. I really think they were. I mean, it's beautiful space all the way around. I mean, it's just, Great restaurant. Oh, fantastic stuff. Well, if, if anyone hasn't been out to the carts yet, order grits and gravy, uh, must try spot to add to the list. Brandon, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. I'm sure you're going to be busy at all three. You as well. We hope to see you, Portland. Have a great day. You too, you too. And, and Grits and Gravy located in downtown Portland on Southwest 6th and Oak Street. As for the Mumbo Gumbo food carts, they're in the Foster Powell neighborhood and near the Moda Center. So go check them out and uh, mumbogumbopdx.com for more info. I always go to the food advertised on our show after our show. Oh, yeah. I it's, think they're going to have a new customer. I mean, it's, it's the place to be. So 
stay with AM Extra to find out where to go next. I, 